Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we've got some really exciting news for Linux fans, especially if you're into mobile Linux. Ubuntu Touch is finally getting a huge upgrade. It's now based on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS Noble Numbat. Yep, after years of waiting, the UB Ports Foundation has made the jump. And this update is packed with new features, design tweaks, and well, a lot of improvements. So this new release is called Ubuntu Touch. 24.04-1.0 and it's the very first version built on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Let's go over what's new and trust me there's a lot to unpack here. First off we've got new logos and a built-in way to switch the theme of applications and get this it supports live theme switching. That means you can toggle between light and dark modes instantly without rebooting or restarting apps. It's a small touch but it makes Ubuntu touch feel a lot more modern and polished. Now here's a big one, experimental uh, personal data encryption. Once enabled, your personal data gets encrypted using your passcode or passphrase. When you boot your device, you'll first see a minimal UI asking for your code. And only after you enter it, the system decrypts your data and loads the rest of Ubuntu Touch. That's a, a major step forward for privacy and security, especially on a Linux phone. There's also a new layout for the phone app designed for bigger screens. So if you're using Ubuntu Touch on a tablet or a larger phone, it'll feel much better. Plus, there's a new USB mode setting that now supports internet sharing. And you can finally see your Bluetooth Mac address right from the settings. There's even a new rotate button that lets you manually rotate your screen just once. Perfect for those annoying moments when auto-rotate doesn't get it right. And if you're a power user, Lasap, listen to this. You can now move apps between workspaces using Control plus Alt plus Shift plus arrow keys. That's some serious desktop level multitasking coming to mobile. They've also added more customization to the calendar and time settings, like setting a default reminder sound, showing weak numbers, and managing alarms directly from the time and date menu. In Wi-Fi settings, you can now view extra info about connected networks and the about page has been renamed to system information, hiding your phone's IMEI by default, another nice privacy touch. The contacts app no longer flashes when loading avatars, smoother experience overall, the workspace feature got improvements for convergence users, and the on-screen keyboard now disables auto-correct, auto-capitalization, and auto-punctuation by default. So yeah, you'll have full control over your typing without weird auto-changes. Now, if you're wondering, will my device get the update? Here's the good news. Ubuntu Touch 24.04-1.0 is rolling out to a huge list of devices, including... That's a lot of supported hardware. It's clear the UB Ports team is really expanding the reach of Ubuntu Touch. If you're already using Ubuntu Touch, you'll get this update via the OTA10 stable channel inside your system settings app under updates. The rollout has already started, but like most over-the-air updates, it might take a while before it reaches everyone. So if you don't see it right away, just hang tight and check again later. So yeah, this update really feels like a milestone. Ubuntu Touch 24.04-1.0 brings better privacy, more polish, and a step closer to making Linux on phones a real daily driver. What do you guys think? Would you consider switching to Ubuntu Touch now that it's caught up with 24.04 LTS? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Linux and open source news. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.